everyone, welcome back again to the 80s Movie Den. Uh, so this is going to be part three of my 1980s retro t-shirt collection. I went into my closet and I dug out the last, I believe there's about 10 shirts, nine or 10 shirts that I have left here to show. And uh, yeah, we'll just go through them real quick and um, we'll start with the one I'm wearing. So this is the uh, American Wrestling Association, the AWA. A uh, little backstory about the AWA for me personally. Uh, my first exposure to the AWA was through TSN. Uh, TSN is the sports network that's based out of Toronto. And it would often carry uh, sporting events and television programming from ESPN. And from other networks as well. And that was my first exposure to AWA wrestling. Uh, I was very ignorant to the fact that... Um, well, especially growing up in Southern Ontario, I wasn't aware of the fact that there were other promotions out there. Like I really was, uh, I was really blind to that fact uh, that not only were there other promotions out there, but they were pretty competitive and uh, they had a lot of talent in those promotions and they offered a different brand of wrestling. It wasn't uh, too over the top or, or you know, cartoon superhero like. Uh, like the WWF, which is what I think I gravitated towards as a kid, especially. Uh, but in my world, the only thing that existed was the WWF. Uh, like I said, growing up in Southern Ontario, we, we didn't have a lot of exposure to, you know, uh, Mid-South and, and uh, territories out in the U.S. and stuff. So uh, it was pretty neat. I didn't really get into it that much. Uh, but um, but later on, as I as I got older and I started to watch more wrestling other than WWF, I started to appreciate the AWA uh, a heck of a lot more. So uh, it's a really cool T-shirt and it's a very iconic logo. So uh, this shirt here is another Kool Aid shirt uh, that was purchased for me by my wife. Uh, she got it at a store called Giant Tiger. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them here in uh, Ontario and it's kind of like a one-stop shop kind of place uh, you know they've got food there and they've got housewares and clothing and all kinds of stuff you know not maybe the best quality but priced uh, priced very well uh, so for that reason it does well again this shirt was very inexpensive but a really cool shirt and uh, Whenever I go there, they often uh, they often have different types of retro t-shirts available, which is really nice. Uh, this shirt this shirt I picked up at Walmart. Uh, this is you know your standard Superman shirt. Uh, this shirt here, uh, rad. A movie that um, I had no idea about Rad. I had no idea that it existed. Uh, I purchased uh, the DVD uh, a few months back and I've, I've watched the movie a couple of times since and absolutely love it. I didn't even know Talia Shire was in it, um, who played uh, Sylvester Stallone's uh, wife in the Rocky films. I didn't know she was in that and she was great in that. But such an awesome movie. Uh, Certain 80s movies really capture the decade. Uh, of course they all do, because they were all made in the 80s, but Rad is one of those movies, you know, the BMX, uh, the riding with friends and, and the races and all that stuff. It's such a neat movie. And uh, yeah, this is an awesome shirt. I love the shirt. Uh, this beauty here I picked up at the Frightmare in the Falls. Uh, that was the last Frightmare in the Falls that I was at was uh, the first time I've ever been and I absolutely loved it uh, I plan on going back this fall and uh, yeah hopefully I can get there uh, we'll see how things go if I do get there I plan on uh, capturing a little bit of footage from the event and uh, showing it to you guys so nice shirt really good quality shirt uh, this one's interesting I got this one off of uh, Amazon uh, I love this movie uh, the Sandlot. The Sandlot came out in 93. Uh, so I was just, how old was I? 
<laughs> I was 15. Yeah, I was about 15 years old when this movie came out. Uh, so I wasn't too far off in age uh, from some of these guys because they were, I think they ranged in age from like 9 to 12 or something like that. So, you know, pretty close in age. And um, just a great, great jersey. Pretty good quality, actually, as well. I don't know who the company is that made it. Uh, but it's great. It's completely stitched. It's got Rodriguez on the back, number 30. Uh, they had different colors. I think they had a blue one as well. Uh, hats, all kinds of cool uh, Sandlot uh, swag. So, yeah, got to represent the Sandlot. Uh, one of my favorite TV shows growing up as a kid, uh, still one of my favorite TV shows. I'm a motorcycle enthusiast, absolutely love bikes, and um, this was the best of both worlds. Uh, Chips. Just an awesome show. Uh, a lot of fun to watch. Uh, the opening credits, uh, the opening song is fantastic. I absolutely love that. I'm always like bopping to it. It's just great. So yeah, Chips. And I got this off of uh, Tee Public, I believe. Either Tee Public or 1980s Tees, I can't quite remember. Uh, but it's really nice. This is another one of my favorites. Uh, it's just a bunch of VHS tapes. I absolutely love this shirt. Very, very cool shirt. Uh, there's another version of this, I believe, with different movies on it. So that might be something I would consider getting. Uh, but, you know, whoever had the unenviable task of, you know, picking the movies out. Uh, but they did great with this one. Uh, you know, Alien, Beverly Hills Cop, A Never Ending Story, Lethal Weapon, uh, Friday the 13th, E.T., Working Girl, Gremlins, The Lost Boys, The Princess Bride, Footloose, The Goonies, The Breakfast Club, uh, Pretty in Pink, Risky Business, and it goes on and on. Just a great list. Karate Kid. Yeah. Very, very cool shirt. Uh, they hold up quite well, also. And uh, this is uh, what you're talking about, Willis. This is my Different Strokes t-shirt. Uh, absolutely love this shirt. Uh, the sizing is a little weird with this one. This is an XL, uh, like all the other ones. Uh, but honestly, this is like a camping tent. This is huge. I don't know why it's so big. Uh, it does say XL, like the other ones do, but it just seems massive. So, but fun shirt. Lots of fun. So that's it. That'll do it. That is part three of my retro t-shirt collection. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, uh, T Public, uh, 1980s tees, Walmart, Amazon, Giant Tiger, uh, Redbubble. Uh, who else? There's a few other places as well. Uh, I find that, um, and I think I mentioned this in a previous video, the last uh, seven or eight years or so, there's been a like a surge in. Um, retro t-shirts and retro items and I think it has a lot to do with Gen X uh, getting a little bit older and uh, it's a market now and um, it's just great a lot of people our age too are, are very creative people hard-working people and um, they're starting companies uh, that print t-shirts they're uh, 3d printing uh, there, you know, figures and all kinds of cool stuff, statues and, and you know, just a lot of great uh, retro stuff, 80s stuff. Uh, there's so much out there. Um, and it's just a matter of, you know, with, with you know, the beauty of, uh, of the internet, of Google, you can search up pretty much any t-shirt or hat or novelty item that you're interested in. And I'm sure somebody somewhere is making it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, thanks a lot for coming by. Uh, this is an 80s based uh, movie channel. I cover t television shows, popular culture of the 1980s. Um, I also cover uh, television shows, movies, and pop culture of the 90s as well, and into the 2000s, the 70s, uh, but it's primarily based around uh, the decade of the 1980s. This has been the 80s Movie Den. 
And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.